Hello everyone, EB the Original Master here, and today I would like to give you guys my predictions or animation styles that I would like to see in SpongeBob SquarePants, the mainstream mascot for the Nickelodeon channel all across the world. So let's begin with the already existing animations that we've already seen from SpongeBob. So let's talk about the, the traditional 2D animation. So that is that is what SpongeBob is known for is 2D animation and the animation for spongebob is actually okay it's not very bad animation and i think the animation is pretty pretty crisp and decent so yeah the animation is all right for spongebob then we got the 3d cgi animation from the sponge out of water film but that actually disappointed me a lot because the advertising for this movie back in 2015 when the movie was about to be premiering on theaters majority of the commercials that we saw for this movie was was them in the surface the 3d cgi portion and the trailer the guy said the the 3d motion picture event but when we got to the theaters to watch the film the 3d cgi portion was added to the third act of the film which you all know is the climax or the ending of the movie so basically Nickelodeon hyped us way too much for this film because we thought that this film was going to be throughout was going to be like CGI like towards like half of the entire film but that wasn't added until the third act where they realized that the the, the crab pages were coming from the surface so basically the sponge out of water concept was used way 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 to the last minute to the ending of the film so that's what I really was disappointed at for Nickelodeon that was my main problem with this movie was that the CGI 3D part was was shifted towards the third act of the film, where Nickelodeon kept overhyping us up with this with these 3D scenes. So, majority and another thing, majority of the scenes and the trailer was already added to the final part of the film, so we already knew what was going to happen next. Then we got the stop motion animation from the It's a SpongeBob Christmas from season eight which aired in 2012, I think around December time, around the Christmas time. And a lot of people kept saying that that was a good episode. And I completely expect, respect those opinions. But in my review of It's a SpongeBob Christmas, I gave that episode a 5. Why? The reason why I gave the episode a 5 is because I really didn't like the story of the episode that much. Plankton creating um fruitcakes with jerktonium and feeding it to people to make them evil so he can become nice for christmas i know that sounds okay but i was hoping that nickelodeon did a christmas special based off of the it's a, of, of a christmas carol that that very famous book by charles dickens that was a really popular book where um this very angry person had to visit the i mean i haven't officially read the book but i know what's what's what what is about yeah again with the stuttering Please ignore that. I'm sorry. I don't have very good speech. So that's why I tend to repeat words a lot. So yes, we all come across that. And you know me, I tend to correct myself. So let's forget about that. Let's focus on what I would need to talk about. <laughs> so yeah, why can't we have Squidward visit the, the ghost of Christmas past, present, and future? Why can't we have that for a Spongebob Christmas special? I mean, the stop motion animation was great, but... I really didn't like the plot of It's a SpongeBob Christmas that much. It was very boring and bland in my taste, but for others, they probably thought it was creative. Well, yeah. Um, we also got a video game type of animation from Atlanta Square Pantas from season five. We also got that type of animation. Then we also got this really nice, then we got the animation from Sandy's Nutmare where the guy, the, the, the little sensei fish, whatever his name was, told the story about the sun, the moon, and the star. That was a nice animation style. Okay, now let's talk about the animation styles that I would like to see for SpongeBob SquarePants. So the first animation style that I would like, really like to see is a marionette. If you guys don't know what a marionette is, it's actually a string puppet. But in the episode, The Best Day Ever, SpongeBob has already used like a string puppet character from the sneak in to the clarinet recital that Square was about to recede. But I will actually like to see real deal marionettes. Like make an episode where like like make like a anime an episode where the whole bikini bottom is like in it, like they design like a puppet theater where they have like a camera on a tripod filming 
the characters moving around as marionettes, string puppets, or just, or instead of string puppets, you can actually make Muppets, like the actual Muppets from Jim Henson, like make a SpongeBob puppet or a Squidward puppet, have like a bikini bottom like style, like them like in puppets or real life puppets or something. Make the show unique. Make, yeah, do something like that. Another animation that I'd like to see is um, Shells Shaded. If you guys don't know what Shell Shaded is, back in 2003, with the release of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, that game was 3D shell shaded with cartoony visuals, meaning that Link, Zelda, and the other characters in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker had a very cartoony design. I would like to see that in SpongeBob SquarePants, where the characters are 3D shell shaded. That would be a nice animation style that they could use. Or they can do anime or manga. We haven't seen an anime like for like for a karate episode. If they want to make another karate based episode, instead of using the traditional America animation or Canadian or whatever, they could switch it up to Japan anime with the really big bulging eyes and the really weird frame rate animation style. They could probably do that for a karate based episode. And when one of the eyes are closed, it could be like X's or something. It could be like an X. You know, in animes, when their when their eyes are closed, sometimes it, it like forms like an X or something. Like, like for real. And the Fairly Odd Parents, they, there's a Channel Chasers episode where they went to different t TV channels. Heck, even the Fairly Odd Parents had more creativity than SpongeBob SquarePants. And that was another show from Nickelodeon, but that was created by Butch Hartman. Wow, Nickelodeon, you're just letting the Fairly Odd Parents having more creativity than you, SpongeBob. See, that that's that's crazy to see that the Fairly Odd Parents had more creativity than SpongeBob SquarePants. That's that's crazy. But Steven Hillenburg could probably do something like that too, but I'm afraid that he can't because he's not trying to expand his creativity more because he's trying his hardest not to make SpongeBob a better show. I'm trying to save Nickelodeon because I want Nickelodeon to be more modern. Like, change the show up a little bit. I mean, I know Nickelodeon is their thing, but if they really do that, they could probably get more 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 fans from out of them because it won't it, it can't be that hard nickelodeon it can't be hard to make spongebob better than ever like just like nintendo's doing with super mario brothers like in mario odyssey they're making mario's design a lot more realistic see nintendo is doing okay with their creativity while nickelodeon is kind of like on the like on the afraid like on the the avoiding side of creativity and that's not a problem with me. I just wish they could be a little bit more creative because we were in 2017. They could be a little bit better with the way how they design SpongeBob. I mean, at least, I mean, for SpongeBob, like, like at least make the textures of them a little, a little bit more realistic. But I think they'll still stay the, the classic 2D design that they did since 1999. And if that's the case, then, then that's fine with Nickelodeon because I am not part of Nickelodeon. But I'm just giving you guys my ideas that they could use to make SpongeBob a little bit better than ever. Because we're in 2017, not 1999 or 2000. So those are all my thoughts for animation styles for SpongeBob. Now I want to hear from you viewers. In the comments below, if you want to, please give me another animation style that I would like to see for SpongeBob. It could be what it could be what I said, or it could be something completely different. But I just want to hear something from you guys, because I love you guys for 500 subs. Thank you again for that. And that's all I have to announce. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Sayonara.